Hey guys, it's me, Beaver. Hello, how is everybody this Saturday morning? So yesterday on the stream, and yesterday, well, it broke in general, that Miss Stephanie Westbrook has been found safe in Alabama by herself. Well, now we have a little more context, so let's hop into it. Teen missing from Tennessee since 2019 found during a traffic stop in Alabama. Let's see. A Tennessee teen who never returned home from a weekend visit with her father in 2019 has been found in South Alabama. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation announced Friday morning Daphne Westbrook missing nearly two years and subject to an endangered child alert issued earlier this week under the Holly Bobo Act. Uh, let's see, was found safe in Sampson, Geneva County. Now, the Holly Bobo Act is just saying if a child is missing before the age of 18 and then they turn missing, or excuse me, rather, they turn 18 and they're still missing, that is the endangered child alert. That is from Holly Bobo. If y'all are not familiar with that case, check it out. It is awful. It's awful. It's confusing, twists and turns, but yes, very... Uh, very important case to Tennessee, especially to that area. Authorities have previously said that Daphne was kidnapped and kept intoxicated by her father, John Westbrook. Hope they get this piece of crap. Samson Police Chief Jimmy Hill said Daphne was found about 1 a.m. During a traffic stop, officers on patrol stopped her vehicle because it had expired tags, a missing tail light. When they ran her information through the police computers, they learned that she was listed in a nation nationwide missing persons database. Praise God. She was alone in the vehicle with her dog and told police she was headed to the beach. She seemed fine, Hill said. He asked her if she needed anything and she said she's okay. And she looks okay right there. Praise God she's been found. Uh, she said she was going to the beach to enjoy herself, the chief said. She also said that she had just turned 18 and she was free. And there is Miss Stephanie there with her dog. So I do want to say this. And um, obviously she didn't contact anybody when she turned 18 or when she got away from her dad. And um, I imagine there's a lot of conditioning. A lot of... Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if brainwashing is the proper word, but, um, there was probably heavy influence from her father and, um, I pray to God she gets the help she needs and, and her and her family can work it out or that she's just successful, you know, whatever she does. Samson police notified a Hamilton County District Attorney's Office investigators who immediately hand, headed towards Samson. Hill said the TBI, SBI, and multiple agencies were involved. Uh, Mel Melinda Clewell, Chief of Staff of Hamilton County District Attorney's Office, told uh, Alabama.com, Because Daphne is 18, she's considered an adult, authorities had to let her go. Authorities said Daphne did not want to speak to investigators and did not want to speak to her mother. The two had previously disagreed on the importance of school after Daphne dropped out in the 10th grade. Which is so sad because, you know, that's just something a parent would do is encourage their child to stay in school. So, you know, if that was the falling out and the reason his, her dad thought it would be a great idea to, you know, do some parental alienation, it's awful. We are thankful Daphne is safe and no longer being held by her father. According to a statement released Friday by the Hamilton County District Attorney's Office, it is especially gratifying to be able to tell her mom that Daphne is free and no longer being hidden. That doesn't change our goal. To find and prosecute John Westbrook. Praise God. Our, investigators remain, our investigation remains active and we expect new developments within the next couple weeks. I'm so thrilled about that. Clewell says Westbrook is a Bitcoin millionaire and an information technology professional and has relied on those skills including an in-depth understanding of Bitcoin uh, blockchain technology to evade authority since he disappeared from his Tennessee home with his daughter. Westbrook is currently sought on aggravated kidnapping charges. Authority also expect charges those who have helped him evade authorities. And, and, and they've also said, which I read it a second ago, but that he was drugging her. She herself had reached out to a friend at some point. I think it was a few months ago. Last year sometime. But, um, 
and said that she was scared. She she was worried. She didn't know what was going on and that she was in, you know, she was intoxicated. I kind of think this father might have had some type of inappropriate feeling. I don't exactly know what, but he was completely out of pocket for what he did and he needs to be prosecuted. Daphne Westbrook, a, ten, uh, a Tennessee teen, missing his... Okay, I just... We know that. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Daphne Westbrook has been found. That is the backstory. Let's take another look at her and her dog. She says, I am headed to the beach. I'm headed to the beach. I'm 18 and I'm free. So, we wish Miss Daphne all the best of success and luck and wealth and health and all that good jargon. We wish her absolute blessings and we just pray to God she finds her way and she can live the rest of her life without dealing with all this crap. So, for now, this will probably be the last time we talk about Miss Daphne so she can move on with her life unless something else comes about. But nonetheless, we are happy about Miss Daphne and we just wish her the best. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a good weekend.